Hello and welcome back to learnaboutice.com. Last week I showed you how to place a corneal suture in the OR. Today I'm showing you how to remove a corneal suture at the slit lamp. So let's go. First, give the patient some numbing drops. If you remove a corneal suture a few weeks after it was placed, it is usually covered by the corneal epithelium. This can make it hard to cut it with scissors and hard to grab it with a forceps. So you first have to free it from the epithelium. For this, I'm showing you a small trick that I learned from Professor Goldblum in Basel. Take a small needle. I use a 30 gauge in this example. Put it on a syringe so you have a better grip. Make sure the bevel of the needle is facing up. Then take the back of your forceps and slide the needle along the surface a few times. Put some pressure on, but not so much that you break the needle. This will lead to a tiny little hook at the end of the needle, like you can see in this microscope picture. With this hook, you can now grab onto the suture and pull it out from under the epithelium. Once you have freed the suture, you can slightly turn the needle and use the sharp edge to cut it. Then just use a forceps and pull the suture out. That's it, you're done. Just a quick note on doing this whole procedure in a sterile fashion. In the video, you saw my forceps lying on the table. Of course, for the patient, you want to keep the sterile packaging on the front part of the forceps and only expose the handle so you can scratch your needle. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and most importantly, share it with your colleagues. This helps out the channel a lot helps me grow and helps me stay motivated to create more content like this for you. Comment down below what else you want to see in those videos and see you in the next one.